Robert Colley O'Brien was an American journalist, writer, and author. O'Brien was born January 11, 1918, in Brooklyn, New York. He was the third of five children, born to Leslie Marslin and Agnes O'Brien Conley. He lived in Amityville, Long Island, and grew up there attending parochial school and later Amityville High School. As a child, he showed musical talent. He was the editor of the school paper and showed a great facility with words. In 1935, he entered Williams College, but left college abruptly during his sophomore year. It was an unhappy time, later referred to as his breakdown. But in a few months, he was feeling better, and he decided he really wanted to be a musician. He studied at the Juilliard School of Music and to take extension courses at Columbia University. The following year, his parents persuaded him to go back to college, this time to the University of Rochester, where he could continue his music at the Eastman School, but also get a BA in English at the university. After graduating from the University of Rochester in 1940, he went to work for the Newsweek magazine in New York City. He was promoted from the clip desk to researcher to staff writer. In 1943, he married Sally McCaslin, a researcher in the book department of the Newsweek. O'Brien and his wife had three children, Christopher, Jane, Sarah, and Catherine. In 1944, they moved to Washington, D.C., where he became a reporter covering Capitol Hill for the old Washington Times-Herald. O'Brien enjoyed music, reading, furniture making, and most important to his books, a growing interest in the world of nature. He worked as a writer, but not as a writer of fiction. He covered national and city news for the Times Herald and later for Pathfinder News magazine. Then in 1951, he joined the staff of the National Geographic magazine, where the stories he wrote or edited encompassed the world. He wrote fiction only in the last ten years of his life. O'Brien bought a weakened place, a small house with seventeen acres on the North Anna River in an isolated section of the Spotsylvania County, Virginia. It was here that he began, for the first time, to feel a connection with the river, the woods, and the wild animals around him. In 1963, Conley developed glaucoma. Because he could no longer drive to work, he and his family moved to close to his office. In the time he saved from not having to commute, he began to write children's stories. He wrote genres in children's literature and fantasy. In all there were four. The Silver Crown, a report from Group 17, a suspense novel about biological warfare. It was chosen as an alternate selection by the Book of the Month Club. In Z for Zachariah, O'Brien received a 1976 Edgar Award for Best Juvenile Mystery. Z for Zachariah is about the last person in the world. There is a nuclear war, and Anne is left by herself while her family looks for any signs of life. In 1971, O'Brien honored, was honored by the American Library Association for the Year's Most, most Distinguished Literary Book for Children. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim won the Newbery Award in 1972. The story of a brave widowed mouse who defends her offspring from constant dangers. The winter weather causes her youngest son, Timothy, ill with pneumonia and must go to find help from Mr. Ages, a wise white mouse that, that had the medicine to treat Timothy. Mrs. Frisbee had to cross the farmyard, risking her life to get the medication for her son. She quickly had to get Mr. Ages to Mr. Ages' house before the farmer's cats find her. She finally arrived in the wise mouth house and gave the medicine Timothy needed. On her way back, she encounters a crow tangled in a shiny birthday string which kept him from flying. She helped the crow by chewing up the ribbon and setting the crow free. He was thankful and said, I'm in debt to you, and flew away. It was urgent for Mrs. Frisbee to see the owl, and Jeremy, the crow, was there to help her, and flew her, and flew her there. 
Mrs. Frisbee had to move her family to the summer quarters, immediately before Mr. Fitzgibbon begins plowing the farmyard. Fortunately, Mrs. Frisbee encounters the Rats of Nim, an extraordinary breed of her of highly intelligent creatures who come up with brilliant solutions to her dilemma. Robert Conley O'Brien died March 5, 1973. He was 55 years old.